I know what it's like. Four or five years ago, at the age of 17, I used to wake up every single morning, chill in bed under the nice warm blankets, and grab my phone and open Clash of Clans. 20 or 30 minutes would go by, and I'm just mindlessly checking out my base, going to this village, going to that village, and raiding them. And I often look back and ask myself, why? What a waste of time. What did that do to benefit me today? I've given away my Clash of Clans account, but even beyond that, it doesn't help me grow in my day-to-day -day life today. It did nothing for me, if anything, it set me back. But I know in the moment, it's quite a comforting thing. You feel like you're making progress in the game, and you feel like, yeah, life is good, I'm chilling with my friends and my clan. But I often look back and think how much more I could have done with that time. So if you relate to this kind of story, I advise you to close your eyes and listen to this following image. You're 70 year old, chilling on your rocking chair, and you have your woman next to you, head on your chest, and you have like your grandkids in the corner of your living room, laughing, all of that. You have your kids on the other hand having a cup of coffee. And you look back on your life. Look at all you accomplished. You might have started like a shelter for the needy. You might have started like a nice football club. You might have done something extravagant that many people you know today would never even dream of doing. You're sitting there with a lot of pride in yourself. You're quite happy with the impact you made on other people's lives, but also the way you've led your own life. You've lived your life in a virtuous way. You've tried to help those around you. And you've tried to live to the best of your ability. You've achieved to the best of your potential. Now, how do you get to that point? Honestly, I suggest you look at my, my mission ladder video after this. I'll put it down in the link below. But I think it actually starts at a lower level than even that mission ladder. That's like a second step. You need to work on your mental health. Even if you actually have decent mental health or think you have mental decent mental health, chances are it's not quite at the level you need it to be to accomplish all of these great feats. What I advise you to do, this can sound a bit odd, but get into working out if you haven't already. Whether it be cardio or weightlifting, get into one of them or both of them. If you choose one, I actually recommend weightlifting. Why I recommend this is you can progressively overload and what this does is it builds up that like development mindset. So for argument's sake, what I mean by this is this week you are bicep curling five kilograms. But next week you know that if you keep curling properly this week, next week you can bring it up to seven kilograms. And so you keep building and it gets this like nice mindset, you get a bigger muscle, you feel stronger, you feel proud about the fact that you're building yourself up, getting like better with women because you now have increased confidence. And everything's just going well for you. And nothing I like about the working out, it gets you into a routine. So, side note, if you look through my channel, I haven't missed a single upload. Since I started this channel, I upload daily, and I haven't missed a single upload in. It would be going on six months pretty soon. And this is the sort of mindset you bought from working out. I also advise you to get into meditation. Meditation sounds a bit woo-woo to a lot of people, but... Make it really simple for yourself. First thing when you wake up in the morning, instead of picking up your phone, playing Clash of Clans, replying to messages, doing whatever nonsense, put on a five minutes timer. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out at a nice slow controlled pace and just focus on your breath. That's all you have to do in your beginner phases. You can then dive deep into meditation, but for now, assuming you're new to it, that's all you have to do. And then I often speak about religion on my channel. <laughs> if you don't really care about it, I advise you to care. But if you don't, just fast forward a bit. I'm going to speak about it for like a minute. But I often speak about how much admiration I have for the life of Christ. Obviously, that's the whole thing in Christianity, at least where you believe he's God. So it kind of makes sense that he lived his life in that way. But what I'm trying to do now as a mere mortal, so to speak, is I'm trying to align my life with his virtues. And through this... I'm more driven to accomplish more and help the next man. But also, I feel more certainty and assurance in what I'm doing because it's aligned with a nice moral compass. And this sort of thing helps you like fix your life, so to speak. But anyway, beyond this, I want to speak about eating cleaner. As you can see, I have like a nice list here because I actually had quite a few thoughts on my mind. But eating cleaner is a finicky one now. I think it's more placebo than anything else. So, I actually started eating cleaner largely because of Hamza. Hamza often speaks about improving your productivity and whatever. 
but there has been many days where I know the day before I ate cleaner than I know the majority of the population, but I didn't eat clean by my standards. And it didn't affect me the next day until I realized, oh wait, I had that like roll yesterday because I don't have like much carbs or anything like that. So I had the like bread roll the other day. And then it's like, I realized, oh no, my productivity is going to drop. So I think the eating cleaner for your productivity, so to speak, is mostly placebo, at least in my opinion. But I think it also is nice to set the discipline. Beyond that, it might also have like physique benefits, help you attract more women, help you feel more confident in your own skin, that good stuff. So on the whole, I think eating clean is a good thing because it also then helps you like avoid hospital balls, helps you have better health, all of that. But I do think it's a bit overstated in the current space. But of course, if you're looking for like that final one, two, three percent, eat cleaner. I'm eating cleaner, so I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh no, don't eat clean, it's fine. But how to put it, it's a late step in your development if you're new to self-development. Let's put it at that point. Sleeping better, I think this is quite a good starting point as well. Um, yeah, long story short, you need eight hours of sleep, you've heard that before. But eight hours of sleep is different from eight hours in bed. Now... If you go to bed, in my case, I go to bed at half past seven and I wake up half past three. So I'm actually not necessarily getting the full eight hours. But fortunately, I've optimized my sleep to a point where I fall asleep within five minutes of being in bed. So I'm literally getting like seven hours, 55 minutes, good enough for me. But if you're someone that knows you take a while to fall asleep and you don't want to go through the whole thing of like really about to sleep better and trying all these things out, just go to bed of being in bed for eight and a half hours. Within that half an hour slot, I hope you can be fall, have fallen asleep. Now, that you're getting eight hours of sleep, you function better, you can think better, you are more productive, you are more fun and social to be around, you attract better women, you literally grow better muscles. So you have all of these benefits. So for me, the extra sleep is very much a no-brainer. It's just a matter of planning your day better. I mean, I have a two-hour commute, I have work to do throughout the day, and even with that, I'm getting seven hours, 55 minutes sleep, so... Not eight hours, woohoo, but you get my points. Then, last one, I think this is an unusual one, but deepen your relationships. So, whether you have a girlfriend or not, deepen your relationship with friends, deepen your relationship with your parents, deepen your relationship with whoever you have around you. I think this in itself gives you this like internal motivation to do more. It gives you like a better mental health, mental state. But beyond that, I think it just also makes you feel more connected and more in touch with reality. I think that's quite important when you're on the self-development journey and you're quite isolated and not going to this club and not going to this party and all that, which I actually do think is a good thing for you not to be doing all this degenerate things, so to speak. But in that, become closer to those that still like meet your requirements of your inner circle. Spend some time getting to know them, ask them about like the childhood trauma, ask them these really deep questions and that's how you're going to bowl with them. Well, that's it, bro. I'm going to see you in the next one. To become a better man.